Question 4. A car is traveling along a straight horizontal road. The car passes through a point A on the road traveling at a speed of 15 meters per second and then accelerates uniformly at 0.4 meters per second squared for 30 seconds. The car then moves at constant speed for 30 seconds where it is less than 30. The car then decelerates uniformly at 0.2 meters per second squared and after a further 2 seconds passes through the point B on the road. On the given axis, sketch a velocity time graph for the motion of the car between points A and B, and that's part A. Okay, so they said at first, it is what? 15. Hmm? They say something here that it passes a point on the road A traveling at a speed of 15. So this simply means that we shall have a 15 Let's say this is our 15 here. Then they say it accelerates uniformly for 30 seconds. Now, we need to do something here. We know that uh, acceleration is equal to, let me actually put it this side, acceleration is equal to V minus U over T, or V is equal to U plus 80. So that final velocity is going to be 15. Then the acceleration is 0 0.4, right? So 0 0.4 times the time taken by 30 seconds. Now, uh, this is 12 here plus 15. You'll get the 27. So meaning we shall draw this one here to 27. Okay like that and we put 27 here uh -huh. then from there the car then moves at this constant speed for 3t so first of all here this one here is uh, it took 30 seconds so we need to make this one dotted we don't need it so that is 30 then we put this one here, 3t, okay? So if it is 3t, we shall add it on the 30, okay? We shall add it on the 30. Then we shall have 30 here plus 3t. And then they say that the car then decelerates uniformly, 0 0.2 meters per second, or a further t. Now, we are going to get t, we add it on this, that means we shall have 30 plus 40. So I'll maybe do that. Then we say 30. Let me try to make this one a little bit reasonable. Just, just put it here. And then this one here. Extend it a little bit because this is a bigger time compared to this one here. You can just put it there. And this will be 30 plus 40. Remember 30 plus uh, 3 T is here. Now, uh, having gotten that, I think that is our... Mm, yeah, that is our diagram. Then they say for part B, the distance from A to B is 2,750. Find the value of T. Now, from here, we need something also. That since V is equal to U plus A T, the final is zero. I'm looking at this decelerating part. The initial is where it starts from, this 27. So this is 27. Then remember they talked of deceleration. Deceleration is negative acceleration. So we shall put negative 0 0.2. And then in here the time taken is what? Capital T. By the way, when we are making this one decelerating, hmm, they, they didn't say that it was coming to rest. You see this one? They never said that it decelerates and then it came to rest. That means it stopped in the air so i'll put off this one here okay 
and I'll leave it here in the air. Let's say around there. Uh, this is the right interpretation. This is what we have here. Pardon me for that. Because if they say that we are supposed to find a value of t and t is six bucks yet, from here you can find it. That means uh, the computation here was wrong. Okay. Now, uh, we need to know the speed at which this one is at that point there. Okay. That speed there. Um, can I let it be V? Maybe not, because already I used here V. Okay. Now, let us look at, uh, again, this final part. So I'm going to say V is equal to U plus AT. So the final, which I don't know here, which is the V, the initial is this 27. Then acceleration is negative 0 0.2. And then the time is capital T. So I can leave this one here. Okay. After leaving it there. Now, when I come to this one here, they say the total distance here is 2,750. We know that total distance on a distance time graph is area under the graph. So total distance is going to be equal to total area under the graph under the graph okay now um total area under the graph there is this one here it's a trapezium so it's a half remember the area of a trapezium is a half h then into a plus what b okay now a half the height is the distance between the two parallel sides so we have this parallel side and then this one here now we are going to have this one as 30 then our a will be the 15 then the other one will be the 27 then plus here of course here we are adding what this is 3t so we shall have 3t then times because this is a rectangle okay then times this 27 27 then plus we come to this one here it is going to be a half okay times the height is this one here, which is a T, okay? And then times, inside here we have A and B. So A could be this one here, which is this one, the V here. That is 27 minus 0 0.2 T. You see that? Then plus this other one here is 27. 27. So this one will be equal to 2750 so now you can see that from whatever we have multiplied here we don't have any v everything is in form of t now 15 a half of 30 is 15 then here we have the 15 plus the 27 this one gives us 630 so i'll write here 630 and then here three times uh three times 27 that is 81 so i'll have 81 t okay and then what else we shall have 27 plus 27 that is 54 divide by 2 don't you get 27 uh -huh. so we shall get 27 t okay because there is a t here also then we have this one is 0 0.2 t then times this t and then divide by 2 so this one will give us minus 0 0.1 t squared which is equal to 2750. Now, I can take everything this other side so that I get the coefficient of t squared as a positive and then I form a quadratic. You see? So we shall have 0 0.1 t squared. Then this 81 plus 27, that is 108. Then when it crosses, it will become a minus 108 of t. And then... 2,750 minus uh, 630, 2750 minus the answer, that is 2120. 
then I can actually multiply all through by 10 such that this one goes away. So I'll have t squared minus 1080t then plus 21200 is equal to 0. Now that's a quadratic which you can solve using a calculator. So I'll come to my calculator here and then I go to mode. Equation is 5. Then quadratic is option 3. Now we can put the coefficient of t squared is 1. The coefficient of t is negative 1080. And then the constant part is 21200. Zero, zero. That is 1060 zero, zero, and 20. But then you have to show the examiner that you have solved the quadratic equation. So you leave space and you say t is equal to 1060. Zero, zero, then also t is equal to 20. Then bring this one back. You say t minus 1060. This will be the factor from which this root comes. And then this one will be t minus 20, which is equal to 0. But remember, in our question, they said that t is less than what? 30. So there are four. For t less than 30, okay? then t is equal to 20, as simple as that. A car continues its journey from B decelerating uniformly at 0 0.5 meters per second squared until it comes to rest at a point C on the road. Then part C, find the total distance from A to C. Okay, now I'm going to sketch this one A again. Uh, just like we had this before. Okay, we had uh, from 15, let's say to 27, then it went like this here. Okay, then after that, it came down. Isn't the other one is 27, uh -huh. maybe up to there. And again, this one decelerated. Okay, because it comes to rest. You see that? So we have to bring it to here. Okay. Now, uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Of course, this one is 15. This one is velocity in meters per second. This one was 27. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we had this one here. Right from here, it is 27 then minus 0 0.2 t. That means we are going to have a, that value there, which is 27 minus 0 0.2 t is 40. No, 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 pardon me here. Our t is 20. That means this one will give us a four. So 27 minus four, we shall get 23. Uh -huh. So this simply implies that this part here, this one here, corresponds to 23. Aha. Uh -huh. Then after that, let's look at the times. Uh, we had the first one here was 10 seconds. Then the next one was 30 plus 3t. So 3 times 20, that one is 60, plus 30, that is 90. So we shall have 90 here. And then this other one here, uh, we have 30 plus 40. In other words, we are adding a T there, which T is 20, so it will be 100 and 110. Yes. Then uh, after that, what did they say here? It is coming to rest. Mm -hmm. So we need to know the time here. So since also we know that V is equal to U plus 80, the final Zero. We need to know the time that is taken. So t is equal to v minus u over a. So the final is zero. The initial is this one here. So I'm looking at this last decelerating part. That is 23. Then we divide by the acceleration is given as 0 0.5. And this is deceleration. So it is negative acceleration. I will put a negative here. And this one will give us a positive 46. Okay. So when I add 46 here, then that means this one will be 156. You see that? Uh -huh. They say total distance. So the total 
distance from A to C. It is going to be, remember they say the distance from A to B was 2,750. So to move from here up to here, 2,750, then we shall add on this one here, which is a triangle. And area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height. So the base, here we have seen it is 46. And then times the height from here up to here, that is the 23. So you have 2750, then plus, this is 23, then times 23. 23 squared, that is 529. So when I add it to 2750, 2750 plus 529, we get 3279, 3279 meters. That is that.